Trigger Gang, the Rear Gang Squad up. What's up, gang? Hey, it's your boy Trigger. You know, man. Video. For you. All right. What's up, Trigger Gang? I hope y'all having a great day, man. Happy Sunday to everybody. It is August fourth right now, and if you seen this video, just know I filmed it on August fourth. And for y'all that's new that don't know what God's revelation is, I'm about to go ahead and put you up on game. All right. God's revelation is something that I do at the end of every month to reflect on the previous month, you know, before going into the next month on what I feel like God was telling me I need to work on. And then in the next month, I wanna progress in doing better at that. That's what we getting into. And if y'all feel the same thing that God is telling y'all, please leave comments in the comment section on what steps you're doing to do better and stuff like that. Cause we are a community where we should be growing together and we need to help each other. But before we get into the video, make sure you smash that like button, smash the subscribe button, and turn on the post notification bell so you ain't never miss Honestly, y'all, the month of July was probably one of the best months. Uh, my birthday, this was my first time actually really throwing like a birthday theme and inviting friends and people that care about me and that support me, that uh, pushes me to be better, people that love me, you know what I'm saying? Everybody came and really supported your boy. That meant everything to me. And I feel like I'm the type of person that relationships and things like that that I that I have in my life is very important I don't take it for granted right also while July had this up July had his testing times right June too I would throw June in it I feel like God was teaching me or God was trying to teach me in those these past two months I'm gonna say June to Ju June through July so June and July he's working with me and I'm still a work in progress on denying flesh um, that's denying fleshful feelings uh, and relationships you know what i'm saying create these relationships but make sure that you're not creating something with somebody that's not going to feed your soul so i feel like in june and july god was really teaching me um denying flesh you know fleshful uh thoughts fleshful feelings fleshful desires just everything understanding what a fleshful moment is i'm gonna break that down by fleshful moment i mean if it's something that i know like dang i want to do this but it's something telling me nah don't do it i, I want to buy these shoes you know like i want to get these shoes get these clothes real quick I, i'm gonna get it i'm gonna get it and he's working on me with tallying back on that so it's been a lot of like eric you know it's cool you don't get that you don't need that right now like i'm getting better at that uh as far as like relationships you know what i'm saying like i'm not focused on being in a relationship right now but your boy just living i'm living life i'm really doing me you know what i'm saying and i feel good i feel good and when i am in one trust me y'all not gonna know still all right when i am in one i'm not gonna come over here and be like yeah i'm in a relationship i'm not doing that you know what i'm saying my business my business i'm gonna keep that some stuff in my life i gotta keep private you know and then i i'm the type of person too because i have i got a lot going on in my life right now. I'm about to get ready to start on a project soon. I'm about to get ready to do some other things too. When it comes to having a relationship that's romantic with somebody, I really, really build around that because you know, your boy ain't dating to just be dating out here. I'm dating to, dating to marry one day. You know what I'm saying? I, I want to find my, my soulmate, soulmate from God. But right now, your boy's focused. But yeah, so God's been teaching me when it comes to relationships, just understanding and having a keen eye on is this fleshful or is this spiritual? God works on you for his purpose. He's working on somebody else for his purpose, right? So whoever she is, she's probably working on herself right now. And then I'm doing my thing and we're going to cross paths one day and it might be a divine connection. It might be something like, ah, we both in that and then it might just happen. You never know. You never know. And wherever it is, if y'all wondering what is fleshful desires, what is fleshful connections, it's something that you do that you immediately after you like, ah, God, I wish I wouldn't get that. I want to do this, but it's something telling you no, no, no. You know what I'm saying? When you do something and you feel good about it afterwards, that's not fleshful that's divine like i can look at somebody and see how off the base of what we're talking about feeling that i get fleshly is like okay let's connect and then there's something that in your spirit that's just like uh-uh nope nope don't do it don't do it and the closer you like and it tugs on you like no 
no. <laughs> I ain't, it ain't like that, but you can feel it in your gut like, oh, I shouldn't be doing this. And I listen to that, you know, and I'm like, nah, or I just like, no, what, nah, I'm good. Nah, I'm not interested. Super just ended right there. And after that, that complete feeling just goes out. I've really been working on myself. I'm trying to deny these fleshful desires, bro. And the more that I get closer to God, the more that I pray, the more that I talk to him, um, it's heightened because I'm realizing that I'm chosen, right? You say it and you hear it and it's just like chosen, but it's not something that's taken lightly. And God has put a purpose on my life, strive to be better and do better every day. I'm not perfect, of course, not perfect. Not every moment is going to be perfect. Or as long as I'm striving to progress, God doesn't want you to be a perfectionist. He doesn't expect you to be perfect, but he expects you to progress. I really have been living in my put God first era. I really been living in that God did era. I really been in tune with thine self, really understanding like, this is good for me or this is bad for me. And I'm realizing everything that I went through, you know, everything I went through last year and just over my life period, really honestly, has been leading me to this place of God organically building me for something that he has set for me. Everything happens for a reason. Anything that I've been through in my life, I have completely just healed from it, moved on from it. I'm just in a place of like, bruh, I'm feeding what feeds me. People that, that pour into me, I'm feeding, giving them that energy back. And if it's something that's hindering me or something that's bringing negative energy, I detach from it. Like I really detach. It's something that I feel that's bringing me positive vibes, something that's bringing good energy. You know what I'm saying? I completely feed that. I feed that back. I feed that energy back. It's not making me feel good, not feeding my soul. I detach from it. I had to go through everything that I went through in my life to get to this point of understanding. And I understand that when it comes to the type of person that I am and who God has built me and is building me to become, I'm going to be feeding them a lot. By feeding, I mean impacting a lot of people's lives. In return, I might not get it. You know what I'm saying? And then there might be people that I actually connect with that gives it back. And those is the people that I really hold on to. Good people is always hard to find. Really hard to find somebody good in this world. Somebody good spirited, somebody that cares about you, somebody that actually love you, somebody that's not janky, bro. Like it, it's really hard to find people like that. So when God brings those certain kind of people in my life, I really try to cherish it. If he moves it, or he cuts it off, or it's just a season of separation. Whatever God does in my life, I just let him work. So today, I just really want to inspire y'all. Um, if you feel like this, you have been going through the same feeling. If you've been having the feelings of, you need to deny flesh. Like, you can feel that when you're making a decision for yourself, that it's not something that you should be doing, work on that. You know, you're not perfect. You might not get it next month you might not get it in the next two months you might not get it in six months you might not get it in a year but really perfect and make progress on listening i'm working on it i'm not perfect there's some things that my, my flesh be i'll be like you know after i already did it and then i bet god be like man see i told you i bet he'd be like i told you you don't listen i've been trying to tell you and i'm really trying to get better at that so while i'm on camera i just want to repent lord i apologize for anything that i've done uh, that was disobedient um i'm a work in progress you give me discernment on these decisions and these these situations that pop up that could feed my soul or could potentially not feed them and allow me to understand how to make the correct decision based off of what you want in your son jesus name amen I, I, that's I have to repent because nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. I love y'all I just wanted to get on here and talk to y'all about that. I know it's something different You know, I know it's something that you're not accustomed to us talking about flesh whatever, but right now I do feel like we're in a time where um, It's heightened It's very heightened It's getting heightened now So I'm working on myself and if y'all if y'all going through the same thing, I would love to know uh what you're actually going through or what God is teaching you, what God is telling you to work on, um, what you feel that God is doing in you, you know, in this season of your life. Thank you for always tuning in and supporting the kid. Please remember to treat people right. Please remember to treat people that come in your life right. All right. Treat them right because God is going to bless you by how you bless them. 
or how you treat them, all right? I love y'all, Trill Gang. Keep living out our motto, keeping it real. But just staying true to who you are by keeping it real and that's how you keep it trill. And until next time, gang, you already know what to do in the meantime. Stay trill, you zig me, you know?